What's up everybody, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're going to be taking a look at Rinky's case lineup, screen protector, rear camera lens protector, and a little lanyard for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now I will be putting links in the description for all these products in case you guys want to pick them up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to reviews to you guys. I'd also love to give Rinky a huge shout out for sending this out to me so I could do this review for you guys today. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is install the screen protector. So here we get one screen protector and an installation packet. The first thing you want to do is to clean off your screen thoroughly, then dry it off. Then you want to take your little installation guide. We're going to take off the top. As you can see the little pins, you want those facing up and you want to make sure that you use the little insert that looks like a little half C. You want to push that very carefully into the bottom of your phone until it clicks in place. You're going to take your screen protector, you're going to peel off the number one from the underside just like this, making sure not to touch the underside. Then we're going to place the little holes over our posts here, just like that, press those into place. Then you want to hold on to the front portion here and place this over your phone. So to help to properly place the cutout for your camera, you can easily peel off that little piece underneath this screen here. So you can actually see how you're lining it up when you do the installation. That's something that I did not do that you can do when you install yours. Then you wanna take the top portion of your guide and place it over those little pins, push it into place. Then we're gonna take our squeegee. We're going to put it back here and lift up on number two. You can push up to that line as you can see the crease. Then push it back and make sure the screen protector goes up and over your screen and just push out just like that. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. What you need to do now is to take off the little post. We want to put our squeegee behind that this little line here. We're gonna lift up on the number three here, make sure you release all these from their posts. We're gonna lift up on that. Make sure the screen protector goes up and over. We're gonna pull out our little guide and just squeegee out just like this. Okay, all you need to do now is to peel up on the number four. Be very careful not to peel up the screen protector with it. Very carefully lift it up and we want to make sure that we push down on the sides with our thumb to make it adhere to the sides of our phone just like that. Do the same thing for the other side here and you can kind of push that down to make sure that it sticks really well. You can do the same thing for the other side. This is a pretty nice option because now you don't have to worry about the sides of the screen protector lifting up, especially if you're going to use one of their cases. It'll be inside the case, so this will never come up, which is definitely a great option. I see some bubbles at the bottom here, so we'll just kind of squeegee those out. Okay, so I got those bubbles out. It seems to pick up some fingerprints, but we can just easily wipe those away. Touch feels nice and smooth. Very smooth indeed. Picture is a little bit dimmer because this is a privacy screen protector, but man, it is it is like butter. It is so, so smooth. Responsiveness is very good. No problems there with touch. Awesome. So watch if I turn it to the side. Can't see the screen. That is neat. <laughs> that is so cool. It's like a magic trick. All right, so let's test out our fingerprint sensor. Okay, we're all done there, no problem. Let's go ahead and test it out. Fingerprints seem to be working without any problems, very nice. So let's test out our S Pen. S Pen working fine. There is really no resistance with the S Pen, which is awesome. Glides very nicely across the screen. No problems there. 
Now let's see if there's any markings on the screen protector. So it does show some markings uh, with the S Pen. This is a self-healing screen protector, so I would hope that they would eventually disappear, which I'm assuming they will uh, because they are kind of just fading away right now. But if you're going to be using your S Pen, that's definitely something to know about. So now let's put it in our case. This is one of Rinky's cases. Fits in there really well. If we look at the bottom here, you can see that there is a slight gap, so it's not touching the bottom of the case. And also in the top, there is a gap as well. On the sides, of course, the screen protector is touching uh, because it does wrap around the phone, but it looks pretty good. So if you're looking for a privacy film screen protector, Rinky's is one you can definitely take a look at, and I would give this one a thumbs up. The one thing I did notice for the camera cutout, it is a little off center, so I might have needed to kind of maneuver the screen protector over when I was installing it. But I think that was due to the installation that I was doing and not something with the screen protector itself. Now let's install their lens camera glass for the rear camera. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to clean off your lenses and the area around the lenses with your alcohol wipe. Once you do that, you can take your camera lens protector here. All you need to do is simply peel off this backing here and don't touch the underside. Once you've done that, all you need to do is simply line all these co lens covers up with the lenses on your phone and then press it into place. Just make sure there's no dust or anything on top of your lenses because if there are, they're going to get trapped underneath here. Okay, once they're in place, just press down evenly all over the protector and then just simply lift up on the card. And there you go. And there you can see what it looks like. It doesn't add hardly any extra bulk to the phone. And all your lenses are now protected. And then here's what the lenses look like. Looks pretty clear to me. Don't see any issues. Again, we also do have the screen protector on here, so the screen's going to be just a little bit duller. All right, so let's take a look at some of the cases. So here we have the Rinky Onyx case in purple. Feels good in the hand, nice and grippy. Buttons are easily accessible, very clicky. If we look at the side, you can see it doesn't add hardly any bulk to the phone, and it does have a raised edge on the top and the bottom in case you need to put your phone's face down. It's got your little lanyard hole on the side here. It has some textured sides for grip as well. On the other side, we have our power button and our volume rockers and that little lanyard hole again. On the bottom, our little spot for our S Pen, the speaker grill, and our charging port. On the back, it's got that nice texture. Feels pretty good. And then as you can see, the camera lenses are now flush with the back of the case because I have those camera lens protectors on there. Looks pretty nice, fits perfectly. The edges also look like they have a little bit of reinforcement, so in case you happen to drop your phone on its edge, you don't have to worry about it getting damaged. It's a pretty nice case. And if you're wondering about wireless charging, no problems there either. So that is definitely a pretty nice case, and it does also come in different colors as well. I would definitely give this case a thumbs up. Rinky also has a little strap that they have that you can use with their cases and on any other cases that has a lanyard hole like this one does right here. And it sits on there just like that. And then you can clip it into place onto your strap just like that. And you can carry it around on your purse or your wrist, whatever. And then here we have the Rinky Fusion X in camo. This is probably one of my more favorite cases. On the inside, you just need to make sure that you peel out this film, or you can leave it in if you don't want to take it out. Fits on there just like that. Feels very, very nice in the hand. Very grippy, not slippery. And I absolutely love these prominent buttons on the side. The power button is like serrated, so it's very easy to press. And the volume buttons are kind of like on an angle, so you can very easily find those as well. That's why I love this case besides its protection. Buttons, very nice and clicky, very easy to find. 
the edges are definitely more reinforced on this. So if you happen to drop your phone on one of the edges, your phone will be protected. If we look at the side here, you can see it doesn't add a lot of bulk to the phone. And it does have that raised edge on the top and the bottom. It's got the nice texture on the sides for grip. On the other side, again, we have our power button and our volume rockers. And it's got that lanyard hole on this side and the other side. On the bottom, it's got your cutout for your S Pen, your speaker, and your charging port. On the back, it's got that nice camo color, and it would really, really show off the camo, especially if you had a lighter color phone in here. It'd look really cool. It's got the nice rugged look. Got those uh, reinforcements on the bottom there for when you put your phone on its back. And as you can see, it's got a little recession for your camera lenses as well. This is a really nice case. It also doesn't show fingerprints on the back, and it's got a really cool little texture as well. And if you're wondering about wireless charging, no problems there either. Definitely love this case, definitely recommend this case, especially if you're looking for some more protection. And that is the Rinky Fusion X. And then here we have the Rinky Air in clear. It is kind of a flimsy case, it's not hard backed like some of the other ones. Very nice, but it is nice and light. And there it is on your phone. Feels nice in the hand. It is grippy, buttons, easily accessible, and they are clicky. Very nice. If we look at the side, you can see there is a little raised edge for your screen protection. Not hardly any bulk to your phone. Very nice. On the other side, we have our power button that is got a little texture to it. Our volume rockers and our little lanyard hole right there on the bottom. Cut out for our S Pen, our speaker port, and our charging port, which is not very deep at all, which is good because you can easily access your S Pen. On the back here, shows off the color of your phone. It does pick up some fingerprints, but you can easily wipe those away. And as you can see, the camera lenses with the camera lens protectors on there are flush with the case. It looks really, really sleek. Very nice. And in case you're wondering about wireless charging, no problems there either. I would definitely give this case a thumbs up. And then here we have the Rinky Fusion case. It's got a nice hard back, but it is still nice and clear. And it does have these little protectors that you peel off before you put your phone in. This one has a nice matte back, so it doesn't show fingerprints. This is, again, another one of my favorite cases, and it's got the piece on the inside that you peel out. So if you're looking for a clear case that doesn't show fingerprints on the back, I would definitely recommend this one. Feels very nice in the hand, buttons, easily accessible and clicky, very nice. If we look at the side, again, it doesn't add a lot of bulk to the phone, and it has the raised edges on the top and the bottom. On the other side, it's got the nice textured power button with your volume rockers here and the little lanyard hole. On the bottom, it's got your cutout for your S Pen, your speaker port, and your charging port. On the back, as you can see, it shows off the color of your phone with that nice frosted look that doesn't collect any fingerprints. As you can see, the camera lenses are almost flush with the case, and it looks pretty nice. I love that frosted look, and that's really good for not showing any fingerprints, which I'm sure everybody would love. But that is definitely a nice case. And as far as wireless charging, no problems there. So I absolutely love this case as well. It still offers some good protection, and it looks good while doing it. So I definitely give this one a thumbs up. And then here we have the Rinky Fusion card. Holds a couple cards in the back here while holding your phone. Very nice. It also has that inner protector that you want to peel out before you put your phone in. So this case will show off the color of your phone. Really nice. Feels nice in the hand. Nice and grippy. Buttons. Very clicky. Easily accessible. If you look at the side here, you can see it does not allow the bulk to your phone. Has a raised edge on the top and the bottom. If we look at the other side, it's got that serrated power button with your volume rockers here and the little lanyard hole. On the bottom, it's got your S Pen, your speaker cutout, and your charging port. If we look at the back, it's got the nice frosted card holder while it shows off the color of your phone. So you can put a couple 
cards in here. Actually, just put one card in here. And if you want to get it out, you can simply just push out from the back there and then easily take out your card. So if you have uh, like your driver's license, you could probably just pop that in there like that. And you don't have to take your wallet along with you because the phones pretty much pay for everything now. And all you really need is your driver's license. Very nice. Shows off the color of your phone. Does collect some fingerprints, but you can just wipe those away. No problems there. And as you can see, the camera lenses are almost flush with the case, but that's what those protectors are there for. Let's see if it charges wirelessly though. And there you go. So it still charges wirelessly. Very nice. So this is a very cool case, especially if you don't want to take your wallet with you everywhere. Like I said before, you just pop in your driver's license and then pay with your phone. Very nice combination. I would definitely give this case a thumbs up. So that was Rinky's case and accessory lineup for the brand new Galaxy S23 Ultra. Again, I will be putting links in the description in case you guys want to pick any of these up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to review to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.